All right, today is March 13th, 2020. So I got quail, they're upstairs incubating, and in about a week or so, uh, I gotta move them because I have another set of eggs coming that I'm gonna incubate. So I needed to make a little pin for them so that they don't run all over the place. So I got a pallet from uh, garbage around uh, down the block and I got this pallet and I put uh, some sides on it. So I found these wooden boards. I painted it <clears throat> and put this, I screwed the boards on and then I found these bags here. Grab a bag. So I got these bags and I think they're onion bags, but I got them out of the garbage too. So I got them and I made these little screen walls out of these onion bags. So I just put a screw in on the inside so that they just, um, uh, they can be taken down. And then on the bottom, I got these boards out of a garbage and somebody um, uh, threw away. So I put those on the bottom here. And that's going to keep this uh, onion cage taut so it's not loose. Um, I just just put those in. So, And then on the very bottom, I had a piece of plastic. You can kind of see the plastic there in the corner on the bottom. And then I had this bucket, of, a bag of sand that's still wet. So I put the sand out so it can uh, dry out in the next couple days, hopefully. Because it's still like 30 to 40 degrees outside. So the quail, they like to go around and sand. Maybe I'll put some diatomaceous earth on this and that keeps the bugs away and things. But when I get like 40 quail in here, uh, they'll have enough room to run around. So that's how that looks. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll put a little water and a little feeder in here and then they can get all happy for a couple weeks and uh, yeah I think that'll work out good with this these little onion onion bag walls <laughs> alrighty so the sand should they like to go I was gonna put wood chips we talked about it my sister and my mom and we decided that sand might be better because it's more like outdoors. They didn't know if wood chips would hurt their feet. And wood chips are like 25 bucks for a little bag of them. So we're like, well, we got a bag of sand. Why don't we try sand? So we're going to try sand and see how that works. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe they won't. Maybe it'll make a mess. Um, but yeah, the pallet worked good. It had a nice solid bottom, this one pallet. Every once in a while you'll find a pallet that has, uh, and I just put some sides on it. And then I put these uh, pieces of plywood scraps. So everything here is scrap. It's all free. The only thing that costs me money is um, the screws. Uh, and the, we got those at a garage sale. A box of screws for $1. These here. Got it for a buck at a garage sale. But they got, they got weird little heads on them. They got the square head. So I had to use a special bit for that. And then let's see what else was there. Um, oh, paint. So we got this oops paint from, you know, you can go to Home Depot. And when they make a mistake um, mixing paints, they'll sell them for like a buck to five dollars. So we got this oops paint. So we painted this a couple times so that it kind of looks nice in our house. And, uh, yeah, that's our new little intermediate quail stage house. So they can hang out here and be real happy while they grow and mature to adulthood. And then at, it's a little bit warmer in the house here in this room. And they got a nice glass door right next to them. And we're going to... Uh, it's It's warmer than outside at night. So it's still... February and uh, this, no it's March it's March uh, so yeah though it's still cold out at night so they'll have a chance to not die 
here where it's a little warmer at night time. So that's it for today. This is the this is my project for today, the intermediate stage of Quail House. And then we'll get them in here and take another video later. All right. Have a great day. Look at that view they got. That's pretty nice. They can look out there. We're going to get a garden going. Got my fire pit. All right. Have a great day. Stay well, everybody.